YouTube, what up? Welcome back to another Pounds 978 custom video. I know it's a little late for a top 10, but I haven't done one. So let me give you my top 10 customs of 2021. Yep, I even throw in a couple honorable mentions. I know I didn't make as many customs in 2021 that I normally make because I was pretty busy with the Oculus Quest. Hello, come on. Come on. But let me run through my top 10 customs for you and then you let me know which ones were your top 10 or if you agree with my list or whatever. But I want to hear everybody's list in the comment section. So let's start off with number 10 and that is the Blue Monster Venom. I did this for Man Cave Collectibles. This was one of the cooler Venoms. I like the shading that I did to it. It was a blue and a darker blue on the bottom and it was kind of inspired off the Marvel vs. Capcom 2. But I like it. And I had to put it in number 10. I know it's not much, and that's why it's probably number 10. But the color, shade, and the paint job on it really impressed me, so I like it. Number 9 was a tough choice. There isn't an official name for this spider. I put it number 9 because of that reason alone. There's no name, and it's an original design. But I couldn't deny the work on it. It looks so good. It's pretty spot on to the reference art, and it looks really nice. This is the Crimson Spider. Or the original red spider-man and i like it i think the web lines the red logo everything looks clean and other than not having a name i can't find anything wrong with it number eight is a custom i've made before but this one i like the best i might have made this three times but this is probably the best one so far assassin spider-man always a cool design i'm really surprised hasbro hasn't given us one yet and just for an honorable mention, I'll throw Flash Thompson What If in there. That's also one of the cooler customs. But they look so much alike that it's hard to pick one. And if I had to pick one, I would say Assassin Spider-Man because we need him in the collection. Number seven was also tough because I wanted to pick a female custom and decided to go with this original green Spider-Man. Really because it's a simple design and the black and green pops. I also like the way the eyes came out. The color of it is cool, and I think it also is one-to-one -to, -one to the reference shot. The problem that it faces, too, is that it doesn't have a name and that people will confuse it for big-time Spider-Man. So I did want to put the Gold Gwen here at number seven, but she did make it in the honorable mention. Maybe I'm just biased against female figures. Number six, not an official Marvel design, but should be and once was going to be. I don't know whatever happened. This was supposed to be in one of Marvel's comics. Never ended up being in a comic book, but it looks pretty cool. His name is Bile. It looks like a cross between Spider Carnage and Carnage or Doppelganger. And I thought it was cool ever since I seen it and I wanted to make it. Finally made it. I think it looks awesome. What do you guys think? Number five, one of my favorites, Spirit Spider, a.k.a. Ghost Spider. I've done this a couple times also, but this is one of my favorites by far. Love how clean it came out. So pleasant to look at. The Hasbro Ghost Rider head helps as well. And if you put it under some lighting, you do get some cool lights, of lighting effects. I don't know how to say it, but you, it does look cool under some blue light and some red light. And even under some strobe light, you can get it to look pretty cool. So this is one of my favorite Ghost Riders, if not one of my favorites. I even thought about keeping this one. Number four was on my to-do list for a long time. Surprised I didn't make it sooner, but 2021 was the year for Electro Proof Spider-Man. This came out so good. I almost wanted to keep it. It was part of my to keep list, but I ended up getting rid of all those customs. But this still turned out to be one of my cooler customs. So I put it up as number four sculpted. It's pretty simple, but looks like the electro proof in the comics. And I like it. Number three has to go to the animated series Venom. Even though Hasbro made one recently after, this was a pretty cool custom. And shout out to the collector's place for his casted heads that really made this thing complete looks great uh the best part of it is again hasbro released it for everyone to buy so everyone gets the opportunity to own it but i was able to score two of them from my buddy peggy's dad and grab some more heads from the collector's place and painted them to match that figure so number two custom of 2021 would have to go to mace and even though i just made mace recently I started working on it at the end of 2021 so i do like this a lot and it did deserve to be on this list in fact this could have been number one because of how clean and and spot on it looks to me anyway number one 
My favorite custom of 2021 has to be the Miles Morales track suit from the PS4, PS5 Spider-Man game. I had dreams of this custom, except in blue, which is so weird. But it's awesome to be able to work around the Negative Zone figure and come out with something like this as clean and accurate as it looks for me it was super impressive and i couldn't be any happier with the turnout of a custom because this thing is is kind of flawless i love the black webs that are embedded on top of the black so you get the gloss webs over the matte black shoulders and that's why that is my number one custom of 2021 and i know you guys may disagree if you do let me know your top 10 customs that i made this year and even if it ain't custom I made, put it in the list if you want, and I'll go check it out. There are some honorable mentions. You guys know I do have Bagman and the Fantastic Four Spider-Man that I think look really good. Then there's also Riot that I made recently. And I like Riot because he has this like shark effect where under his belly is like pink and on top he's like this bluish gray. But it just wasn't enough to put him on my top 10 list. The blue Gwen looks really cool as well. The Carnage I made recently looks pretty cool. I also like Anti-Spider-Man. So many cool customs. Even the Venom I made with the different logo looks really cool. But that is my top 10 list. YouTube, let me know in the comment section below what do you think about my top 10 list and what are your top 10 for custom figures. And if you like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content and click that notification bell if you want to see the videos because we're going to be uploading some customs here soon. See you in the next one. Peace. But if you choose to subscribe, you the man. Yes, you. Everyone below in the comments. Yes, you too. Thank you very much for showing me love. Who knew? It's ironic how we think out the box for you too, right? Sing, 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 sing.